Hey, good morning. This is your reading for the month of March. Very excited to do your reading. Let's see. What is the energy? Something feels like it's shifting. I have like this, this upbeat kind of energy. I've just done Aquarius, Gemini. We've done um, Aries, Leo, Sag. So go and check your sun, moon, rising if you know what they are. Any cross watchers are welcome. And um, let's see what is coming through. But I definitely felt as much as Aquarius just had a lot of beautiful energy circling, I feel like we're carrying that into here. Um, I feel like Aquarius, there are a lot of things that are shifting here for you guys as well. So let's see what is coming in. What's coming through for beautiful Libra? What is coming through for beautiful Libra? Okay, we have the old weighted ball and chain. Okay, for some of you, let's see where we're going with this. It could be for some of you, you could be leaving a marriage, something that's been in quite emotional emotional baggage that you've been holding on to. There could be some codependency and I've just gotten my yes card. Okay, why was I feeling this upbeat feeling? We will find out because I feel like there's something here on the other side that's waiting for you. Perhaps some of you have been holding on to a marriage. Maybe there's been some restrictions here. Perhaps it's got some level of addictions. Lots of different factors that can come into it. But I definitely feel like there's something here that you're connected to that's been weighing you down. And I feel like there's this like energy of breaking free. And maybe that's why I'm feeling that burst of energy where it's kind of like you're breaking free of something here something that's been making you emotionally unsatisfied because with this you've got new beginnings you've got new beginnings that's coming through and as much as we're sitting in pisces i'm i'm hearing when we move into aries season that's going to be somewhat significant something around aries season is going to be significant so let's see for the month of march what is coming through for my beautiful oh, Aquarius got this energy as well so that's why I'm knowing that they're kind of tying in okay we've got the ladybug which is a vibrant abundant new life this is something where its wishes are coming true so as much as you've got this energy on the other side of it you've got this abundant life all right something here is um is being released something here is being released let's see yeah it's something where you are in okay so what i'm getting is that for some of you you are deeply committed to a certain situation at the moment there is some family ties there could be marriages there could be something like that but i feel like there is a reawakening that is happening here for my beautiful libras and um there's a relocation happening And you're relocating to peace and harmony. I just feel like that there's something here in March. <sighs> that just came through. Okay. I feel like there's something here in March that you haven't been speaking your truth on. And I feel like I almost want to say the person that you're dealing with, they already know. They already know. I actually feel like there is an energy of this feeling very mutual. So if you are currently in a relationship or um, a marriage or there's something here that's going on, something to do with family, there's something here that's been weighing you down and it's been stopping you from from having this joy and happiness happiness but I feel like if I'm talking to two people in a in a connection I feel like this is something that both of you are doing for each other and I feel like both of you are resisting breaking free from this and it's almost like waiting for the other person to give the other one permission to let go and be free and it's almost like this is going to happen I feel like this is going to happen Okay, we've got earth the element of earth that's coming through as well here so i definitely feel like this is talking about being very practical being very grounded in your decisions and being a little bit realistic 
perhaps some of you have been um, a little bit in, I'm not going to say la la land, but like a bit of fantasy of um, this new vibrant life. Maybe there is something here that you don't quite know what's on the other side, but you have a desire for something, but maybe you're not too sure exactly what it is or how it's going to play out. But I'm definitely feeling here is that there is something here that needs to be there needs to be a practical conversation. There needs to be a grounded, realistic conversation. Um, where you're both able to let each other go. Okay, I was feeling a real buzz. So what is this? What's on this other side that they don't see? Or what's on the other side here, please? on the other side here please yeah they're really highlighting the fact that something here needs to be removed in order for something new to come through for some of you you've been avoiding making these decisions and who's who's reading did I do before that was quite similar maybe it was Aries that I did that was quite similar so you could have Aries in your in your sun moon rising or you could be connected to an Aries but there is something here there is something here that is needing to be cleaned out because that you've got restoring harmony. You've got harmony that's come out twice here. Okay, two very different looking cards, but you've got two harmony cards. It's almost like the harmony is being disrupted in whatever situation you're in at the moment, but harmony can be restored by speaking your truth and being honest with one another. Otherwise, it's just going to keep feeling like this heavy, weighed down, trapped kind of emotion where actually neither one of you are trapped. I just feel like both of you are fearful just to let go because of what comes next. And that could be the question, well, what comes next? What happens after this? So Spirit, what happens after this? What happens after this? You are kidding me. Your wishes come true. Your wishes come true. There is a lot of fear here. There is a lot of fear. And for some of you, you may not even really be aware of what your wishes are. What it is your wishes are. Is it falling in love? Is it traveling? Is it um, feeling inspired in work? There could be many things here. What are these miracles that are waiting on the other side? Something definitely that's going to feel much more in alignment with you. Anything else for, anything else for Libra? Anything else for Libra? You've got new beginnings you've got the tree and you've got resources so for some of you there could be some fears due to finances as to because I just feel like my energy's shifted now as well so I definitely feel like there's like needs to be like a practical sense that's coming in here that perhaps you're worried about finances investment properties that you may have um you know are you able to you know are you able to live the life that you desire um, without being in this connection but I'm just saying that there is a new beginning here for you my darlings there is a new beginning but it's about being grounded into yourself being grounded into your truth like any tree that is rooted into the ground um, the trees they leave their leaves they don't hold them they shed everything sheds you know the snake will shed its skin the trees will shed their leaves you know there's so many things here and I, I just feel like there's something here that you're needing to shake something because you've got some old leaves that are holding on to this tree um, that, are, that are ready to drop away. They're ready to drop away. And what comes with that is new vitality. What comes with that is freshness, new greenery, new growths, new buds. There's something beautiful here on the other side. And you have everything that you will need. You'll have everything that you need. More importantly, 
you'll be in your truth. More importantly, you'll be in your truth. Okay. Let's see what's coming through here, please, Spirit. Oh, my beautiful Libras. Libra energy, please. What's coming through? Intuition. For some of you, you're not listening to your intuition and they're asking you to. Because that came out reverse and I don't usually read them in reversals, but... That's what I heard straight away. There's something here that you're not listening fully to your intuition here. And I feel like whoever I'm connecting into this collective, you're very intuitive. It's almost like you know what your intuition is saying, yet you don't want to you don't want to listen to it. You don't want to hear it. Are you afraid? Is there something here? Is there some fear around um, hurting like you don't want to hurt someone or someone doesn't want to hurt you I feel like it's Libra doesn't want to hurt the person that maybe you're in a relationship with or you're connected with or something like that but I feel like there's definitely something here that you're not feeling completely satisfied in but you just don't want to hurt um, this person or the people connected and by doing that you only hurt yourself you only neglect yourself you only neglect your own emotional wants and needs okay what advice do you have what advice do you have you're protected you're protected absolutely you've got enchanted there's something beautiful on the other side that again something doesn't seem clear but you you can feel that there's more you can feel that there's something there right and then you've got forgiveness. Now, what's the forgiveness coming out for as well? Are you forgiving yourself or are you forgiving another person? Yeah. It's almost like you need to forgive yourself for wanting this new beginning. You need to forgive yourself from stepping away from something that no longer emotionally fulfills you and step towards this new beginning that's going to bring in go for it that's going to bring in all of these new beautiful blessings but this just requires you to face your fears it just requires you to face your fears yeah it requires you to make changes and changes can be really really scary can be really scary for some people but the changes and the shifts are happening and this is why when I was tuning in that's what I was getting there's huge shifts there's huge changes and as much as this sounds and may look like you know you know something's ending and and all of that you've got beautiful new beginnings on the other side and if you're sitting in a place where you're not feeling emotionally um fulfilled I just feel like you need to you need to look at you know if you were to choose a different path and you were to honor your feelings even though you don't know what's on the other side I feel like um, I feel like I feel like these changes are really beautiful I feel like they're really beautiful You just need to process your feelings, my love. It's almost like a sense of, and then you've got courage and then cleansing. I feel like there's a sense of, um, you could be mourning. Like it feels like there could be a mourning of a loss. Like you could be mourning a relationship while still being in a relationship, but knowing that something's done or something's over knowing that there's something more maybe there's a more deeply committed relationship that's coming through maybe there is a desire that you have towards somebody else but i feel like there is a sense of forgiving yourself for wanting more it's okay to to know that there's something more out there it's okay to not settle for something that is no longer aligned with you and it's okay to give yourself that permission to do so because we're, we're programmed to to think that we have to have permission where where that's how we're raised as children you need to ask for permission to get a drink you have to ask for permission to go to the toilet at school you have to ask for permission to um do whatever 
we were raised to ask for permission with everything. Now, if that's how your mind is programmed, give yourself permission to forgive yourself and give yourself permission to step into this new beginning that you desire. Give yourself permission not to settle. And it's okay to change. It's okay for things to change. It's okay to go with the seasons because that's what we do. We're designed to shed. We're designed to change. We're designed to grow. And we're also designed to go through all of these beautiful seasons, hibernate. We're designed to do it all, okay? Higher power. It's speaking to you. Your higher self is speaking to you. The divine is speaking to you. You already know what you need to do. Don't fear it. However, process it. Sit with it. Forgive it. Allow the changes. Communicate. Communicate. Definitely communicate. Any advice you have, please, spirit, heal. You've got wishes coming true, but there needs healing. Advice. The hanged man. You've got the hanged man that's come out twice here. You're going through an enlightenment. You're not stuck. You're not chained to anything. You have free will. Surrender. Surrender to your feelings. Surrender to the changes. Surrender to this new beginning. And allow this vibrant, abundant life to come to fruition. Because it's there. <laughs>